Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to jump on and talk about your basal body temperature, what it is, how you can use it to lose weight, something that's really, really important for women to know and I don't think it's something that is talked about enough. There's so many women that don't know how to track their basal body, what it is, where it should be at, can this tell me if there's a problem in my hormones or cycle or anything, right? So here are some basics to basal body temperature, and then I'm gonna go through how you can use this for weight loss. I also have an upcoming webinar. It's going to be Thursday at 10 o'clock a.m. Central, where I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into some of the info that I'm gonna be talking about here. So I'll put a link below this video. You can click it and sign up for the webinar that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and you're gonna learn so much, oh my gosh. Um, I also have my book, The Female Fat Solution, which is available on Amazon. Again, talking about nutrition for hormones, your cycle, where everything is at. My podcast, The Female Health Solution, is on iTunes and everywhere that podcasts are. And then I also have my YouTube channel, um, which is just Dr. Beth Westy, where you can search a ton of videos that I've done, you know, talking about a ton of different things for women's health, um, female issues, anything there. Um, yes, so basal body temperature. Basal body temperature. When we talk about basal body temperature, here's how you take your basal body temperature. It is just essentially your core body temperature. And it changes throughout the month and it can help you track where you're at, especially if you've been under stress or something where your hormones are changing and your cycles all over the place and you're like, I don't know what's happening with my hormones. Oh, where am I at? Basal body temperature can tell you, yay. <laughs> so basal body temperature is just your temperature first thing in the morning. So you wake up, keep your thermometer next to your bed, right? Put it on your nightstand right there, and then keep a piece of paper and place to record your temperature. So, or you can you know, do it in an app. There's apps that do this as well, right? I'm kind of old school and I just write it down. Um, but thermometer, wake up before you get out of bed, before you drink water, before you go to the bathroom, anything. You know, don't do anything, you just bing, Eyes open, grab that thermometer, take your temperature. That's your basal body temperature. It is your core body temperature before you get up because as soon as you get up, you know, your systems start going, things start happen happening and that can shift your true core body temperature. You also want to take this temperature about the same time every day. So if you wake up really, really early and you, you know, do that most days, say you're up at 5 a.m., you wanna take your temperature 5 a.m. or around that time. It's not as helpful if you take your temperature 5 a.m. and then one day, and then the next day you take it at 9 a.m. You know, that's a lot later, and it's gonna be a different reading because of the big time difference and just systematically what happens in your, system, in your body because of that time change. So this is where women um, run into a problem with the timing of it is where I get up really early during the week and then I want to sleep in on the weekend. So it's like, okay, we'll wake up at the still same time, take your temperature and just fall back asleep. Or know that that day that may be an outlier of a piece of data. Now, I really like talking about basal body temperature and talking about tracking it because it's about graphs and it's about data and it's about tracking things and yes, <laughs> that that just speaks to me. I like the math and science things. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just an, I'm kind of a nerd like that. So those are the big things with basal body, how to take it, when to take it, that type of a thing. And it tells you where you're at. Now, a lot of people think, oh, I should be 98.6. No, you're probably going to be a little bit lower than that, right? So this is just a for example, um, but your basal body temperature should shift throughout the month as well. It's going to be lower here, drop and rise, and then be higher here at these different points. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna be lower here, it's gonna dip, spike, and then be higher through here. So day one is the first day of your period, day 14 is about when you'd ovulate, day 28 is when it ends. So essentially when you look at the hormones, this you know first two weeks being higher in estrogen, second two weeks being higher in progesterone, estrogen that basal body temperature is a lot lower 
progesterone, that basal body temperature should be higher. And how much, again, this is just an example, but say you take your basal body temperature and it is 96.5 degrees here. This could be 98 degrees right there. So that could be a degree, a degree and a half, two degrees different for some women. It just depends. But that's a bigger chunk that you're looking at. Now, when you wake up every day, is it going to be 96.5 degrees every single day, days one through 14? Not, not necessarily, right? It might be 96.4, 96.7, 96.2. You know what I mean? So it might be just above. Oh, can you see that? Just above or just below this mark, right? But then it's going to drop, spike within a day or two, right? This is a very short period of time here. And then it'll be higher here, like that. So when you average out these lines, it will show you the difference overall. And then again, but you look at that, look how quickly it spikes and then it's up here. And then when it starts over again for the next month, it will just drop. And that's when you know your period would be starting and your temperature is lower again. And then it starts and it goes all over again like that. That's basal body temperature. So the female body ebbs and flows throughout the month. So for those of you that are wondering, oh, I've had, you know, I'm on birth control. I've had a hysterectomy. I've had, you know, perimenopause, menopause. I'm not sure where I'm at. How do I know? You still have estrogen and progesterone in your system on a different level though. But you can track this and just try and figure out and align with your system. It's really easy. So estrogen, cooling foods, that's going to help you lose weight to help your body burn more carbs progesterone, warming foods, that's going to help you burn more fat naturally. I'm going to dive into that in my webinar on Thursday. Tracking basal body, how this aligns, how to work with this. This is how the female body functions. So I'll put that link below this video. Enroll for this free webinar. Learn more about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. These are simple everyday things, regular foods that you love to eat and, and how to align with this and what this and how to track your basal body to really get the most out of this. Now, the last thing I'm gonna say about basal body <laughs> is this. When you're tracking basal body temperature, you can just use a regular thermometer. One of the things that gets under my skin so much when we talk about products for women, women get targeted for so much crap, it's ridiculous. Like they will make, take a razor and make it tinier and make it pink and then charge twice as much for it because it's for women. It's a razor for women. Oh, are you kidding? That's dumb. <laughs> so I have seen, you know, it's like, it's like anything for a wedding, right? Like you can go to the store and get a candle for $2, but a wedding candle is going to be $15, right? It's the same thing that they do with stuff for women related to health, related to our bodies. It doesn't need to be more expensive. It's just, right? So basal body thermometers, I've seen them at the store where they're like, basal body thermometer. And it's like more expensive than the regular dumb thermometer. It's just a thermometer. A thermometer is a thermometer. It takes your temperature. You just, you just take your temperature. If you have one that takes a temperature through your ear, great. Use your ear. Use, use that. I, that's, I have gone through phases of my life where I couldn't find my regular thermometer or I had the ear one for my kids because they were really little and there's no way I was going to be taking the temperature orally or the other way. <laughs> that's not how I was going to be doing it. So I had the ear thermometer and that's how I took my basal body temperature right? It's fine. It's, it works. It's whatever you have around to use or whatever you need to get. You can get one for a couple of bucks. They're not expensive. I just wanted to let everyone know that that's a trick by the marketing companies. Uh, yes. But then tracking it again, it won't be exactly the same. It'll be about, but again, keep track of it on a piece of paper. You can use an app either way, but it gives you a really good idea of where your body's at. This is also going to be really helpful for any time something changes for you. Say you travel and you go, you know, across the world and all of a sudden you're on a different sleep schedule that can mess with your hormones. If you're under a lot of stress, 
that is going to mess with your hormones to shift and change your cycle and feel, and you're going to feel like, Oh, what's wrong, right? No, you're going to know where you're at and you're going to know what's happening and be on top of, you know, hormonally the shift in your body. So you're not left wondering and you're not ever left like, Oh crap. I don't know what's going on. And I feel like I'm going crazy. Nope. You're going to be right on top of it. So I'm going to do this deep dive on Thursday in my webinar, a really big teaching. So please, if you know somebody that could use this information, please share it with them. It's my goal and mission just to educate and empower women to give them more information so that you can be in charge of your health, be proactive and leverage your hormones to your advantage to help you get to and maintain results a heck of a lot easier. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in, share this video and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise I'll put that link for the webinar below and I will see you later.